Good evening. Uh, welcome back to Fruit Outdoors with myself, Dylan. And surprise, surprise, of course, you wouldn't be seeing me unless we were out fishing. So we're out again. Uh, we are fishing sand down today. Uh, it's been super stormy yesterday. We've had like 40, 50 mile an hour winds. It's dropped off at some point today. And, uh, and it's westerly, so we've headed over to the east side of the island. And hopefully the wind's going to be firing straight over our heads. Uh, so yeah, so we're fishing out in this. It looks pretty, pretty, pretty chilled actually. Beautiful clear skies. Uh, buzzing man, I'm just waiting to get bait out in the water. I haven't even set my rods up yet. We've literally just got here. Traffic was an absolute nightmare, but there we go. Uh, Nick's over there, he's already set up. Nobby's setting up over there. And then uh, and then Tom and John I think are coming as well. So it's gonna be about four, five, maybe even six of us later. Trying for a ray. Trying for anything in all fairness, but predominantly it'd be nice to get a ray. I think there's a few coming out now. Uh, yeah, just wanna get one. <laughs> <laughs> be nice to get them for the species, but it'd just be nice to get a fish to be honest. Like I say, fishing's been super, super slow, but I think it's been slow for pretty much most of the people I've spoken to. Anyway, there's a few good fish coming out, don't get me wrong, but they're just not coming out uh, with sort of re regularity, you know? So I'm gonna get set up. I'll quickly show you my baits, show you the rigs that I'm using today because I've made some fresh rigs for tonight. And then we'll get a bait in the water, see what happens. Right, so I'm just baiting up my first first rig, uh, which is going to be half a uh, half an anchovy with a bit of mackerel wrapped up the side of it. It's not a massive bait, but I have been told that you know. I guess it is who you speak to in it. Some people swear by like big bait, chuck out a big bait for a big fish. Well. Some others say they're getting good fish on small baits, so slightly smaller baits today, hopefully a bit neater. Uh, so there we go, so that's that's the size of one. Doesn't look that big, but that's, that's my finger. I've got small hands. All right, and here we go. This is the uh, second bait of choice. So basically I've got um, anchovies, squid and sand eels tonight as bait. I did try to get some worm uh, to begin the session off while it was daylight but to be honest I couldn't even get to the tackle shop in time. The traffic's been so bad what with accidents and diversions and stuff. It's been horrendous so it's literally just full on ray fishing tonight. So as you can see that's quite a thin small bait. That's a medium sized sa sardine with the tail and the head cut off wrapped up with probably about a third of a squid body. So that's going on my bottom hook of my loop rig which is panelled and then I'm just going to put probably some plain squid on the top hook of my loop rig which is just a single 2 -0. Right, that light is really going quick, pretty rapid. Top hook, single squid, not a very big squid at all, maybe two and a half inches. Tuck the head up, bound it all up on the needle. All right, let's get that one on and then get these out. Right, let's get this set up then. Right, so uh, tonight's rods of choice, same rods as always to be honest. Uh, competition match GT on one side. Competition match ST on the other side with the ST being the softer tip of the two. Uh, both capable of casting five 
five, maybe six ounce and a, and a bait. Potentially not this one, maybe an, an easier cast. Uh, both paired up with the uh, Speedmaster 14,000 Shimano's, 25 pounds straight through. Uh, so on one side, tonight, these are the new rigs. So it's, it's the same rig that I'm really quite fond of, to be honest. It's a Portsmouth loop rig with a 2.0 panel on the bottom and a single two on the top hook. But as you can see, it's quite long, quite long traces. And I've actually made this out of 80 pound rig body and 60 pound snoods because I'm getting a little bit tired of getting bitten off by congas. Not that we'll probably get a conger out here today because it's very sandy. Uh, but yeah, so I've beefed them up a little bit. And then on this side, I've got a pulley panel. It's quite long, probably good, maybe a metre of hook snood. And that's on a, that's on a 3.0 with a 3.0 octopus hook, both on five ounce. But let's get these out. Notice, I'll, check, I'll get a light on in a minute. Everyone else is wearing waders and I am not. So I might be missing a trick, but fortunately my van is literally just there and I've got waders in it. So I might well put them on. Get into a fish already. And here's Tom. Say hi Tom, look uh, at his gear man, look at it all, it doesn't look the part. It's all pink mate. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, good, you? Ah, yeah, oh, here we go, so we're all out. At least this way I can look at the rods at the same time as talking to you. Uh, yeah, so the tide's on the drop. Um, I say we've come on recommendation to fish here today. I say it's been super stormy the last day, day and a half, two days. Uh, so it's been really rough and some places, I think some places have been fishing if you know where to go. I don't. Well, sometimes I do on the grapevine and stuff. Uh, yeah, but we knew it was going to be pretty sheltered out here today. Uh, hence we've come here. So we're, we're fishing down. Low tide is at about 9.30ish, maybe. Um, it's always difficult to tell. Everything says a different thing. Um, and uh, it's now half past six, just gone. I've literally just got my first two baits out. Uh, so yeah, so we're fishing down and back up. So obviously we're going to be moving our stuff down as we go down. Follow the tide out and follow it back in a little bit. And hopefully we can pull out a fish. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm digging, it, digging the old little glove at the moment. I probably will put one of those casting cannons on one of the rods. Um, just to see really, because I might really get on with it. Some people do, some people don't. So, uh, But I am going to have a go. Uh, so I'll swing this round, get it on the uh, rods, get the torches and lamps and sight lights and everything else set up and hopefully uh, we can get a fish. If not, you just get to listen to me gabbing on about stuff, trying to make content up to get a video together. There. Right, set up, we've got a light there, got the floodlight there, got the torches there. And hopefully it might not be too bright. It's a different, it's a different light setup that I normally use, but anyway, we see how we get on. I say boats have only been in the water for about 10 minutes, but it's getting warmer, so this is coming off. And I might put my waders on because everyone else has got theirs on. And I think it might be needed. Right, so I am gonna get um, couple of rigs baited up ready to rock and roll uh, and that way like I say the, the tide's already gone down you can see they're starting to become, become a little bit of a bank just in front of us but then on my next cast at least then I can move the tripod down and uh, I might get another cast out before I have to move the tripod down to be honest uh, minimal effort would be great because it's nothing worse than lugging all this gear up and down up and down following the tide so I'll try and get as much out of the tide as I can with the beach that I've got available before I have to move. But yeah, I'm going to get a couple of rigs ready.
So I'm on my second cast and I've moved everything down the beach. Mission. Uh, but yeah, we're down by the water's edge again now. Uh, try that again, shall we? Second cast, moved down the beach. Clearly I didn't put my other tripod up properly. Uh, a couple of fish have come out now, which is cool. So Nick's had it to the left of me. He's had a uh, small little bull hus. We think it is anyway. We, three of us have had a look at it and we all think it's a bull hus. And, um, and Nobby to the right of me, he's had a, uh, to the left of me as I look at the camera, uh, he's had a dogfish. So a couple of fish have come out. I haven't had anything. I haven't even had a nibble yet. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to rebate the, my rigs again. Like I say, I am fishing basically like I would in a comp, so I'm kind of getting my rigs baited up, ready to go, so I can, as soon as I pull it out, I can whack another one straight out. Just saves a lot of time, and it means baits in the water for longer. You know, sometimes you can lose four or five minutes. By the time you've got the bait elastic off and everything else, it can take a while sometimes. So, so yeah, I always like to have them baited up, ready to go, so I'm going to do that now. And hopefully, I can pull out a fish. I, I don't mind if it's a dogfish, I just don't want to black it. <laughs> I've had quite a few this year. It's like I said before, it's been really slow and really hard going, but I say if a few fish come out, then brilliant. What you had? Number one? Difficult to tell, but I think I might have a bite on the left hand rod, but I don't know, it could be the swell, it could be weed. Might be dogfish, I don't, really can't tell at the moment. I'm gonna leave it sit for a couple of minutes and then I'll think about changing it and I'll read it in and having a look. Ah, uh, that's how come you can talk to me. So now I can see what's going on. But that's a new light, but I've had to put that over it like a... Oh mate, but yeah, it does your face nice, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. If you want my bye, don't you know? <laughs> oh, nice, mate. So, Nobby literally just said about five seconds yeah. ago, I reckon be close to getting a spot in in a minute. And lo and behold, there he is, he's mate. got one. There he is. Good show, mate. Thank you, mate. Yeah, cool, man. Their bellies are so white, aren't they? Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's cool. He's made up. So yeah, uh, Nobby's just had a, uh, a spotted ray. They are absolutely stunning, stunning fish. Uh, but that's great. I mean, that's a really good sign. So hopefully it won't be the only one. Like I say, there is, uh, there's five of us down here. So there's 10 rods in the water. I think I might be the only one that's blanking at the moment. So, uh, but it'd just be nice to pull something out. I don't mind pulling out just a dogfish, but if there's rays around, it'd be really nice to get spotted as well. All right, I really need to pull my finger out because everyone else is having fish. Undulate ray, spotted ray, dogs, bullets, and I'm still blanking here. So I'm gonna freshen those baits up. And yeah, just keep the fingers crossed, I guess. I'm not really doing much different. He did say, Tom said he had that one in really close on his really light rod. It's basically a bass rod, really. And he, yeah, he said it was in quite close, maybe 50, 60 yards, so. I mean, it only casts four ounces. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, not doing very well. When you're surrounded by fish, it's a little bit frustrating. Yeah, so I'm starting to wonder if if the rigs that I've made for tonight, pretty much especially for tonight, if they're hindering me in some way because I've made everything longer. But they seem to be fishing, so you just start questioning yourself. Everyone around you is catching fish and you're not. You're wondering what it is that I'm doing differently, but I can't think there's a whole bunch. <laughs> I haven't tried any different ranges, I've just been hitting it as hard as I can, so maybe I think on the next cast I'll maybe keep them in a little bit closer. Tide's not moving quite so much now, so we're getting close to the bottom of the tide. But yeah, two rays, I mean, it's great, it's then lovely to see, don't get me wrong, I'm really happy for the boys. 
but likewise, I would like a fish myself. We'll keep trying. That's what we always do, isn't it? We come out fishing to fish and just to sit around and enjoy the scenery. But a fish would be nice. We're not blanking. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny dogfish. But it's a pretty little thing though. There we go. That is my first fish of the night and I am gonna take it and be happy. <laughs> right, I need to take it. Do you know what? I haven't had a dogfish for absolutely ages. So I've been doing the species hunt since the beginning of February. And this is the first one that I've been able to take a picture of. So I'm chuffed about that. Ah, oh, there we go. Got a fish, I'm really chuffed about that. A very, very small dogfish, but fish all the same. It's got the blank out of the way, so now I can just relax a little bit. Keep firing out some bait. I had a very rubbish cast then. Tried, we were having a little muck around before we started, which I'll show you, or I might have already shown you. And uh, so I just had a try to do a bit of a looping, don't even know what it was, but it didn't go very well. And I fired straight across the left, very close to either going over my line. You know, when sometimes they look like it goes over and you keep doing that with your rods, you can't tell if it's gone over it or not. So we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully we can get another fish. It'd be nice to get a ray like Sam. I mean, I have had one ray this year. Tom's, Tom, who's fishing down there, he's had, I don't know, seven or eight, he's had loads of rays. Uh, yeah, so it would be nice to get one. And they definitely seem to be about, because an undulate and a spot have come out, so. But yeah, we'll keep plugging away. Anyway, I'm gonna freshen up some baits. Like I said, just cast those out. I'll redo my rigs again with some fresh bait, get them ready. If I do catch a fish, I've got, a sp got the baited rig ready to fire straight back out. It's a glorious evening, saw an amazing shooting star. Proper burnt up as it came across. I don't know, we've caught a fish. Right, well that tide has now turned. Uh, it's just, well it's probably been turned for about 20 minutes to be honest. Uh, it's 10 o'clock, bang on. Uh, no fish for anyone, I think, since I've had that dogfish. Um, but hopefully, now it's turned, it should, in theory, switch on a little bit. Uh, and obviously, the fishing hasn't really been too... I mean, it's not been brilliant for me, but the fishing's been pretty good in general. So, uh, we're hoping, now that that tide's turned, it was sort of, the fish will come back on the feed. Um, but yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly cast out some fresh bait, so I can get them at the furthest distance I can and then I'm going to start working my way back up. <laughs> it's another species. <laughs> A tiny, tiny, tiny little pout. But unfortunately, this guy is probably not going to go back so it is going to be used as bait, which, as far as I've been told, <laughs> is very good bait for, for Ray. So uh, I'm going to whack this on a 3.0 pulley panel and chuck it out. Next cast. Ah, right, there we go. First move back. I need to get another light for that, uh, another battery for that torch, just to get the tips. You can just about make out the tips at the moment, so I won't bother just yet.
Yeah, let's bait up that pelt. Right, there we go. One tiny pelt. I mean, it's probably four or five inches. It's not very big at all. That's all bound up. Biggest hooks I've got with me are 3.0, so it's on a 3.0 with a 3.0 octopus on a pulley. It's on a very long pulley, but I'm basically thinking I'll whack it out in a minute and just leave it and just walk it back and just leave it out there for the rest of the session. I'd say it's probably about 10 past 10. And yeah, I'll just leave it out there for the rest of the rest of the uh, rest of the evening. See what happens. Maybe, maybe it will come to fruition. Everybody tells me that pout. If I'm after a ray, pout is the best bait. So we will find out. Right, I'm going to chuck uh, chuck a new fresh bait out on that right hand rod, uh, and then that's probably going to be be me done but I'm going to leave them out there for a good half hour I think because we'll be able to walk back up the beach and I'll just leave them both out. Like I say that pout's been out there for maybe 10 minutes uh, and the other one's probably been out there for half an hour so I'm going to change that now and then I'll give it another half hour maybe an hour with them just walking them back to the beach and just leave them out there. there's no crab activity or anything anyway so can stay out there. Yeah, well, I am going to call it. Uh, it's nearly, it's getting on for 12 o'clock and I've got to get some fuel and it's literally one garage on the whole island where I can get some fuel. Uh, so I need to get some diesel on the way home. Uh, so yeah, end of session. Um, yeah, I've got to be honest. <laughs> I mean, it's not been very eventful for me. I'm super chuffed that the boys got some rays and that's what we came out for. So some rays got caught, so target achieved there. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit gutted obviously that I didn't catch one, but it just means I've got to try harder next time and that's what we always say, it's what loads of other people say as well. When you're not quite hitting the target or even hitting some fish sometimes, it does make you try that much harder the next time you go out. So I'm going to go back to the drawing board, might reduce the length of my rigs and maybe thinking they're too long because I did probably worse out of all five of us tonight. And the only thing I can think of is that maybe I made the, all of my rigs just too long. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to pack them up and anyway, pack these rods away and uh, hit the road. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it um, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Uh, and until the next one, please take care, stay safe and maybe see you out there. Cheers. Second cast, that is bright, man. That is super bright. It's uh, I don't know what to do about that.